What's up folks? My name is Georgie Grimm and this is like the third time I've started this video over. This is the real copy of it. Remember that when you're editing. This is the real copy. This one, this one that you're looking at, this one is the real one. Well, okay. Listen, here's the front load of this story time. This past fall quarter of this year, I had a roommate who is no longer living with me currently. And her name will change from her real name, which I'm going to give her the name of Claudia, just cause it's an easy name for me to remember. And I hate that name. So it's a good name to give her. So Claudia was my roommate. The story which I am about to tell you is a confidential story between you and I, which means that I'm going to be sharing this with over a hundred people which is not that many people if you think about it which is not that big of a deal which is the good thing because I can tell the juiciest stories when I have the lowest amount of subscribers which is very fortunate for me because it means that I don't have to worry about what I say until I hit about 10,000 subscribers and then it's a bit more problematic because it means the more people are starting to watch you and pay attention to what you say which means that what you say can become very controversial and then it becomes problematic so that's when I'm gonna have to stop telling my stories and pretending to be somebody that I'm not. I'm kidding, I'm not actually gonna fucking do that. That's stupid. Anyways, okay, I'm trying to figure out how to start this story. I guess this all started when I moved in. It was like the first day of school. Everybody's moving in, everybody's getting their stuff together. Everyone's trying to get, you know, all their stuff from their cars into their rooms. And I met this girl and I thought she was really cool. I thought she was really nice. You know, she seemed like she was a really good person who didn't seem like she was shady in any kind of way. And I like get talking to her and I get to know her and she's like really cool person. And then I just get talking to her and I like think that we're like really getting to become really good friends. And we hang out a couple of times and then there's like this awkward tension between between the both of us cuz well I'm super sorry for that super weird segue moment but I had realized that excuse me so I have pop sockets on the back of my phone like many Millennials do these days and so I realized that my pop socket this part of it was getting really fucking gross also side note to everybody out there who has a pop socket did you know that you can actually take it apart but you can also put it back together again it's not that hard to do here I'll do a quick demo on it here is the bottom part like this part the top part, this is a custom made God bless David Bowie pop socket that I have that I made on the popsocket.com website. And then you have the base part or the middle part, I should say, it's not the base. You have this part that you can take apart very easily, but you can put it back together just like that because it has these little slots, I guess. You insert the ridges into the slots is what I'm trying to actually say. <laughs> And then you have the base on your phone and then you have to take this part off actually in order to put it back on your phone so you do this and you press down really hard and then you put the top part on the pop socket like how I told you in the previous part of the video and then bing bang boom here you go it works just like new and so if you were ever like fuck my pop socket's broken no it isn't it actually isn't you can fix it yourself and you don't need to spend 15 more dollars on another fucking pop socket there you go lesson of the day you're welcome anyways back to the story so okay we're talking about the fact that i was hanging out with her friend who she had a crush on and her at the same time and there was this like really awkward tension and i was like talking to her friend and we were like having a really good conversation and I could tell she was getting like annoyed for some reason and I'm pretty sure that she was probably getting jealous and I was like well that's really stupid for you to be jealous because I don't have a crush on your friend but like you know sure she's cute but she's not my type you know what I mean and so it was that kind of situation where it was like why are you being jealous about this situation when I'm clearly not trying to flirt with her even though it probably seems like I'm definitely flirting with her because a lot of the conversations I have with people sometimes come across as flirtation and I'm just like I'm just a fucking Libra like I can't help it I'm sorry I just I, I'm a flirtatious person okay I'm sorry I fucking can't help it okay listen you know what I mean like when I'm flirting with you it's very obvious if I'm flirting with you but like if I'm not don't take it as flirtation because I'm not trying to fuck you I'm just trying to listen 
to what you're saying to what you're having to say and you're talking if i'm trying to flirt with you i'll make it really fucking obvious and you'll know and be like oh my god she's flirting with me whoa anyways random segue but like you get what i'm saying i'm not trying to flirt with you i'm really just trying to listen and hear what you have to say case and point so that was the situation and for some reason like i'm a very intuitive person and so I picked up on like the subtle notions of her not really liking me for some reason. Or this was my own perception of it. Or whatever, but I just, I got vibes, you know what I mean? Like, you know how you just like, you sometimes just get vibes from somebody because it feels kind of off for some reason. And so there's a lot of just, oh, so like you have some type of vendetta against me because I conversed with one of the people who you have a crush on. Okay, sorry, continuing with the story. I'm like forgetting where I was going. So that whole situation happened and then that was an experience. There wasn't really much else to be said about it. She didn't end up dating the girl. She's still with her boyfriend, I'm assuming. And then later on, a couple, you know, weeks pass and I get this text from her. And I will read you what the text says because of course I still have it. I think I do at least. I hope I do. Hold on. Pause that thought for a second. Give me a minute. Also keep this in mind. I had no idea that this was happening and I had no idea that she was upset about this because she never went to go and talk to me about this. Went to go to the RA to talk about this before she even came to me, even though she had claimed that she had gone to me first, but she hadn't because I have literally no evidence whatsoever of her coming to talk to me about this situation that she decided to give me a giant fucking massive block of text about. So get ready, this is a fun time. Are you ready for the text that was sent? Because it is some real tea, sis. Get ready for it. Ha 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 ha. All right. Yeah, I'm a theater student, could you tell? All right, it says, Hi Georgie, it has been bothering me for a while now and I'm not the type of person who is comfortable to, to confront people. So I've tried to get used to it but I just can't put up with this anymore. I don't know if you're aware that everything you do is really loud. Like when you open and close the closet, the fridge, and the doors. I've literally been startled and woken up in a panic today because close the door too loudly. I'm not that girl who tries to complain about every little thing and I honestly try so hard to get along with my roommates. Do you really now? I would still try to get used to the loud sound if it wasn't giving me more and more anxiety. I truly hope you could consider to do everything a little more gentle. I understand that you're free to do things in whatever way you'd like because you paid to stay in the dorm. Yeah, I fucking did, bitch. We all struggle in life, so I'm not trying to make it hard or exaggerate this at all. But again, I would really appreciate it if you could do things more gently and less loudly. Thank you. Of course, I was pissed because she's not perfect at all by any means. And by not perfect, I mean she would leave her dishes out. I do that too, but she did it further to an extent where it was disgusting and the food would be just like there and disgusting and gross and rotting. I had another moment that was like really later on in the quarter. Like this was a bit like middle of the quarter, I think, where everything sucks. And then there was this other moment that was towards the end of the quarter where I I purposefully, because I'm a bitch, had taken the last of the toilet paper, but I'd left just a sliver of it on the toilet paper roll, expecting and knowing that she was going to be the one to go and use it because I am a smart and intuitive person. I just kind of know the patterns of people when you live with them, you know what I mean? You pick up on pa patterns pretty quickly. But I had purposefully left the very last of the toilet paper on the roll because I know that she wasn't gonna go and get some. But I'd also know that if I left the room for more than probably 12 hours, I'd say, that hopefully maybe somebody was gonna go and get more toilet paper like a normal person would and then it wouldn't be left up to me, the person who always goes and gets the toilet paper. And this is no tea and no shade to my other roommate because she's fine. But like, low key, I was always that person. That pisses me off. I hate being that one person. I get it. Like, yes, I am oftentimes the last person you 
piece of toilet paper. And so yeah, I do get the toilet paper. But I have a very strict rule in mind when people use the last of the toilet paper, but they don't bother to go get more. The fuck is wrong with you? You know what I mean? Like, what, 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 hello, it's just human. It is normal common sense. And that was a lot of the issues that I had with her was like, just like simple things that were like common sense, like that you should just know. You should just know these things. Like things that people who have manners should understand. I don't know. I don't know if I should get into this. So I'm gonna continue on with the conversation because this is a little bit of tea and this is what I said. This was my response to her. I said, fine, I will do my best in being quieter. I apologize for being so loud. But I need you to start pulling your weight around here with your chores. I also need you to wash your dishes because those have been there for over a week and it's getting gross. I do my best in trying to compromise but I cannot be the mother around here and I refuse to live this way. Thank you and I do hope that you understand. Which of course I thought was a pretty Pretty good response you know what I mean like I'm just trying to be a good person I'm not trying to be a bitch I'm just trying to get my point across and express the fact that you're being crazy and I can't deal with you being crazy and then of course she comes at me and says honestly speaking Georgie I have a garbage bin in my room and I don't even throw stuff in the garbage bin under the sink or in the bathroom that is also a lie I've flushed the toilet papers you can put the garbage bins away because I don't even use it since you started this I'm gonna put it out there that I know that someone has been using my hair hand soap and I took my hand soap in my room. She actually did not do this. I don't even want to call anyone out but I know that someone knows who she is so let's just be reasonable and respectful to each other. <laughs> that fucking cunt. Wow. 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 Am I right? Like wow. Who says stuff like that? I mean seriously. Okay, back to it. Sorry for the pause again. I had to put my footage onto my laptop because it was gonna stop filming and that's not okay because it was gonna fuck it up. So I'm coming back. Where was that? Hold on. So I left off with the last text that she had sent me. Continuing on about that, she said about the dish, I will make sure it will never happen again. And then she said, no one is asking you to be the mother in this storm. I'm not using the garbage bins. I use my own stuff. Literally everything. A lie. A lie. I love liars. I make sure I don't touch people's stuff. So if you don't like taking out the trash, maybe talk with your other roommate, take the garbage bins away. And then I said, great, thanks. I have no idea about the soap to any capacity. I'll talk about it later. Good night. And then that was where it left off. So, okay, that happened. And then, so she texted me that, right? And I had no idea that she had gone to the RA about this issue previously before she had actually sent me this text. What I can imagine that happened was that she went to the RA multiple times before she she had even ever talked to me about these issues, about the fact that I was apparently being too loud or whatever. And granted, we did share a wall and the vent that connects our two walls is open. And so you can literally hear every single thing the person does, says, whatever. You can hear them fucking breathing. It's weird and I fucking hate it. And so nobody's living next to me right now, which is really nice and I love it. And so it's fine. But that was a situation where I was like, okay, whatever. And I totally had thought that it had been solved and resolved and that there was nothing to worry about and there was no issues. But come the next day, I learned that we're going to have a meeting with our RA about a fucking roommate agreement plan. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me right now? I'm fine. What I was doing was shutting drawers at a normal volume level that people normally shut drawers and doors at. Yes, I did have a couple of days where I was angry and I would shut things a little bit harder or louder than I normally would. Some may even argue that I'm a pretty loud person, which is fair. I am a loud person as I had previously mentioned. I am a loud human being, but I've never had an issue with a roommate to this degree where she's been so upset to the point that they, they felt the need to have a roommate agreement plan. I get the need for quiet. I am very similar in that sense. But if you are literally preventing me from being able to live and exist within a space to the way that I would like to live and exist within that space, that is impeding on my own life as a person. And that's not fucking okay. And like, I did do what she asked me to do. I was quiet. I had quiet times. 
I was a quiet person because she asked me to be quieter. And then at the meeting, we're having this meeting, right? And my other roommate's there and then she's there, Claudia is there, and then the other roommate is there who I will give the name Mary because that's an easy name to remember. I had Mary and Claudia there. They were sitting there and I was talking and the RA was there and the RA was like, okay, what's going on? You know, what's the problem? We're, you know, having this issue, obviously. And she knows about the issue because Claudia's told her everything and she's been running to her like a little kid being like, oh my God, you know, nah. like a fucking child going to its mom and tattling on its sibling or whatever. That was the situation that I was in. It was fucking ridiculous. And so it was a very petty situation that I knew was incredible incredibly petty and I was aware that the RA also thought that this was a very petty situation and the fact that she even had to be a part of it was ridiculous. The situation was fucking ridiculous. Completely way blown out of proportion than it needed to be. There was definitely a lot of passive aggression towards one another. We didn't talk to one another. Whenever we saw each other in our room or in the common area, we wouldn't talk to each other. We'd look at each other, but we wouldn't talk to each other. She would always have this like look of just like disgust or just like I can't can't be bothered with you kind of look on her face whenever she saw me she would always be like kind of like that you know what I mean like the two-faced kind of fucking bitch that she is <laughs> And so she was probably the absolute worst roommate I've ever had in my entire life. It's so funny because I, I had a feeling, I had a feeling she was gonna move out. So I come back from winter break that's like about a month long and she ain't there. Didn't know it, but I saw that her name was not on the door and that somebody else's name was on the door. And so I'm like, go figure, go figure. Of course she moved out because apparently the situation of living with me was just too fucking hard for her and she just could not handle living next to somebody who is louder than most people are. And it's really funny because I have not seen her once on campus. And so I'm not wondering if she just completely up and left and like left the school, which is low key kind of ridiculous. You know what I mean? I just, I wonder because there's so many times when I was just like, you know what? You're wasting your time here if you're gonna be like this. Like I wasn't able to just live and be who I am in my own space and I hated that. So that was the whole entire situation. That was the whole entire deal that I was dealing with fall quarter. That's why I wasn't able to film because of her. I wasn't able to film because I'm a very loud person so when I film I'm loud obviously. Like I literally have to bring my levels down because I'm so fucking loud but like but I'm so grateful that she doesn't live with me anymore because holy shit I was like can you imagine? Ding dong the bitch is gone. Fuck yeah. So that's my video that's all that happened if I see her I'll give you guys an update but I a hundred percent truly believe that she's just not here anymore on campus like at all but like that's it that's really all I got the lessons that we learned here is that I'm a loud fucking person and if you're trying to live with me you also better be loud but also but <laughs> but also very tolerant of me being loud but I'm also a respectful person and when people ask me to do things I will do them just just don't go to the RA first because then I'm gonna hate you and I won't do what you ask me to do. So lessons to be learned and had. There's the tea, sis. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, you know the drill. Just like and subscribe. Fucking give me that clout, boy. I need more subscribers anyways. But yeah, I'll catch you guys next week. Okay, thanks. Bye.